Welcome to the Miller Park Minute. My name is Eric, and we are going to briefly run down the Cubs series. Uh, Monday night started out with a bunt single that shouldn't have been a bunt single. They should have picked the ball up. Uh, that was an error on the team's fault, in my opinion. Uh, a lot of people will argue that, but that is my opinion. Uh, Eric Thames coming into this game red hot in this series, Red Hot, continued his Red Hot streak on Monday night with another home run, breaking Jeremy Thames, Jeremy Bernitz's record. Thames um, is one of the hottest hitters on the team and one of the best so far offensively this season. Um, lots of good things coming from him, of course. We hear the controversy, oh, is he using steroids? Well, whatever. Uh... Chase Anderson did not look good. Uh, a lot of that we feel uh, can be weather related. You know, weather weather affects the pitchers. It was a cold game Monday night. It's Chicago, it's windy, it's cold. That's just how it is. Um, the other notes I have, the bullpen has been performing really well in the first two games of the series. Faltered a little bit in the third. Um... Feliz with the saves looked great up until last night. Uh, I don't think he should have stuck in last night, but it's my one man's opinion. Uh, the li we've been living by the homer. The home run has been amazing. The home run ball is coming from you know Shaw, Thames, Brawny, uh, Arcia hit his first home run. Uh, got his bat going a little bit. I mean, he's not crushing it, but he got his bat going, and that's huge. We want to see that. Um, VR and Broxton struggling at the plate. I, You know, to me, at this point, we need to do something to change those guys up. Get them out of their funk. Get them out of their, where they are. That's where I'm calling for a lineup switch. I think Broxton needs to lead off, and I think VR needs to go back towards the bottom, kick him down a little bit, maybe get him going. Their fielding has not changed. I don't think they need to be pulled out of the games, but we need to see a change there. VR is not looking like VR of last year, um, and we want VR to be the VR of last year, and we want Thames to continue, and Brawny to be who Brawny is. Um... The next game, game two, uh, again, Broxton and VR struggled. Uh, I'm just looking at my notes here. Thames hit safely in 12 games, had an eight-game hitting streak going. Uh, the bullpen, again, looked good. A uh, little bit of faltering there on Jimmy Nelson's behalf, uh, in which case, you know, that's I, I believe that's counsel needs to, needs to realize that he needs to get him out. Um, that was a winnable game. I think the, all of these games that we have played so far this season have been winnable. I don't think that we are playing so terribly, uh, and we're at 500. So I, you know, you can't say that we're we're awful. We're we're playing awful. No, we we we're we're staying in these games. I said to my wife the other night, "This is this is fun to watch. This is interesting. We are playing way better than I expected going into the season." It's just fact. You know, we got some guys struggling, but we got some guys doing really well. If we can get everybody on the same page or close to, you know, doing okay, we're going to be a much better ball club. Um, again, bullpen looking good. Uh, the next thing I have here is um, game three. Um, again, long balls in game two as well. But game three, uh, Brewers power, home runs. They have been powered by the home runs. That's how we've been scoring. No small ball here. It has all been home runs, two-run shots. You know, somebody gets on and then another guy, you know, jacks it and scores two runs. That's how we've been playing these games. But in the flip side of that, we've died by the home run. We have lived and died by the home run ball. The 
counts have gotten full, you know, last night at the end of the game, we were looking at a, you know, bases, bases almost got loaded. We, we gave up a home run to lose the game seven to four, a game that we led the entire game until the ninth inning. That should not happen. Milwaukee shouldn't happen. And it did two very winnable games. And you know, that's a shame because we are coming around. Pitchers are coming around. Malone threw a hell of a game. I think it was five innings, two hits, or three hits. I don't know. It was a small number. It wasn't a lot. It shouldn't happen. It shouldn't happen. My other note, Arcia looking good. I think I already mentioned this, but Arcia actually is looking better at the plate. Looks like he's calming down, but we need other guys to do it the same. We need to stay in these games. Uh, very frustrated Brewers fan here today. Uh, that's really all I've got. I'm uh, beyond irritated. Beyond irritated uh, that we lost those two games. That should have been a sweep of the Cubs. I get it. It's the Cubs. They're World Series champions. Whatever. But we had them on the ropes. We just didn't knock them out. So uh, with that being said, um, going into the Cardinal series, I hope to see a lot of better, better pr playing. Maybe we'll figure out some things with our pitching and our bullpen. Um, yeah, as always like subscribe, follow me on Instagram, Twitter. So, uh, at every social media, Miller Park minute on Facebook, Miller Park minute, minute WordPress. That's my daily blog. Uh, keep up with the daily ramblings and like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Uh, I've been making some changes. I have an email now, uh, MillerParkMinute at gmail.com. If you want to email me to talk about baseball, I'd love to hear from you. Thanks. And again, have a great day and go Brewers.